is we have our, our mother plants that give us the stock for the entire facility. So we cut clones from those mother plants to serve this entire place. Um, we call this our propagation room. On all these tables, you'll see plants, and these plants represent our next crop cycle. Yeah, everything is very clearly labeled and, and, and coded based off strain. And a majority of, of what we do outside of, of this area, um, you'll see all the tags that are on these, these blocks right here. So when you're putting plants into our system, each one of those plants has an individual tag that allows us to track batches. We can actually tune these lights in into the exact amount of light that we need at a certain amount of time. So right now they're getting like full blast light, but we can dim our lights. For example, a certain strain may like less light than another strain. This is uh, the, our in-process quality lab. So here, our Q18 uh, checks final product and they release it for, for sale. Our in-process in, in testing lab also analyzes our cannabinoids. So for example, the, the plants that you saw, we'll test them once we receive them here. And then we can see the different cannabinoid profiles that are present in the flower. Uh, so again, those different, we'll be able to know what we're working with once we harvest it. We saw taffy at cultivation. So this is the same flower and they'll be uh, packaged in these crucibles and they have a tamper resistant lining on the edge. That is a, a Florida statute um, requirement. Whatever Rob sent has to match what we're receiving. And you know, a series of people sign off on that and then we receive it into our inventory and then we allocate it for either pods or extraction uh, based how it tests.